Hello ladies and gentlemen, and my fellow gamers, this is BRabbit1987, and this is episode 5 of Beyond Vanilla, and today's episode is Immersive Hut. I know, I know what you're thinking, but BRabbit, this mod is pretty old. Well, most certainly, it isn't new, that is for sure. I decided a while back that I wanted to do spotlights for all the mods that I use often. Immersive HUD seems to be overlooked quite a lot, but that is because it fits in so well with Skyrim, you sometimes forget it's there. Immersive HUD is created by an author by the name of Gopher. Chances are, if you're watching this video and you're from Nexus Mods, you probably know who he is. He has been part of the Skyrim and Fallout modding community for a long time. Heck, he is one of my favorite YouTubers and he, as well as a few others, inspired me to start this channel. Now of course, if you compare his channel with mine, haha, <laughs> uh, if his channel represented a castle, my channel would be a shack under a bridge. Okay, well maybe not that bad, but he has been doing it for a lot longer than I have. So it's to be expected. I will link his channel down in the description, just in case you don't know him. I highly recommend him if you like Skyrim and Fallout. Best YouTuber ever! Alright, so moving on with this mod, Immersive HUD. What makes Immersive HUD so special is that it takes away all the HUD elements that you don't need, and they only pop up when you need them. The compass is also hidden, and you can reveal it by pressing the X key as set by default. Or you can go into the MCM settings and change it to any key you would like. Quest markers also disappear when the compass is hit. The crosshair is only visible when using ranged weapons or magic, or when you hover over activatable items. Your health, magicka, and stamina all fade much quicker now as soon as they are filled up. You can remove the sneak meter if you like to play more hardcore Skyrim. There really is a lot to this mod, even with it being so simple, you can change a ton of settings in the NCM menu. Transparency settings and even Sky UI HUD element settings. Overall, this mod does its job so well, I would never play Skyrim without it. So go on, give it a try, and if you like it, don't forget to endorse the mod. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. See you next time.